Hey yeah, folks, Bocif is here. So now we find ourselves at Abernathy Farm for this extra. I think in one of my episodes, I had a bit of it in there, one of my Let's Play episodes, but now Abernathy Farms has 18 settlers. Uh, expanded a little bit. I had to change something up because of, a, I guess you could say, a bug uh, when using a console command with forcing plots to level. I'll explain here in a minute. But uh, 18 settlers. They got some basics in the inner, and they're very, they got a lot of entertainment. These people at uh, Abernathy love their entertainment. So, I mean, it's not maxed out, but uh, they got some things there to keep them happy. So, let's get to it. We got a 2x2. Two two. This is a laundry station for some sanitation. And of course, like all the others, I'm, I'm not done decorating. I just want to get the settlers happy. I'll take time to decorate and stuff. And I've gotten the Powell family at the point of filming this look into the future. But there's uh, Franklin. And he runs the Museum of Oddities. I thought that was a perfect match for him. It's Salama'a, human. It means hello. There's some, there's the water. Water collection. I know that house here is pretty cool. This is the first time I've used this one. It's a pretty cool house. I mean, not only do they have some heat and a way to cook for the winter, but they also have that open for some cool air during the summer. So that's all right. There's a Max Shack by King Gath for one of them. Oops, wrong button. Okay, we're going to have to use the... Looks like a storm is brewing, so we're going to have to use a cheat here. And for some reason, you know, Blake Abernathy thought they might need an artillery piece over here. There's a Marshall plot, nice tower sitting there. And then there's a, I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do here yet, because that's a big old hill, and if you lower this too much, a lot of the ground will be poking through the floor. But anyway, this was mod. And it was uh, the Pow House. Pow Refuge. It's from one of the add-ons. And uh, according to the description in there when you place it, if you assign them in a specific order, they will use the bedrooms they're supposed to use. So uh, you got to do Julia first, and then what's his name, her husband? I can't think of his name right now. And then Kate, Katie the kid. I think that's her, her bedroom. That's the pals. And then Franklin will also live here too. And the Brahmin, which I got something to say about that Brahmin here in a little bit. It's very annoying. And there's Franklin's little spot. No wind power here yet, but I'll, I'll eventually get to it. I don't know where I'll place them, but I'm going to have to soon because they're about to use power. Communication by Ono. Oh totally be a superhero in a Alex. 
That was his name. That's who's running that. Villains are only cranky when hungry. And I fixed that up. So they could get in and out of the door. Some of this we've already seen in a previous video. So I'll move on to some of the newer stuff. It's that fire pit run by Sister Elena. She was from the Recruitable Settlers mod. She's actually a uh, sister of Adam, I guess you could call her. This is a new martial plot I set up. This one is supposed to share extra defense. So I'm still having to use a combination with the turrets. Now I'm starting to figure out what I'm going to do inside here. This is going to be like a entertainment area. I'm going to eventually set up plots with bars or restaurants or hookers. Right now we got uh, memory lounger in here. It fit in that corner pretty good. I'm probably going to, when I get some more settlers, I'm probably going to sign Blake as the mayor. Blake Abernathy. And put somebody else in his place at the agriculture plot in the back. That's all developed pretty nicely. This one here is finally level 3. And that guard over there, shacking up with that synth. <laughs> this is level 3. Romantic plot, I think it's what it's called, or romance something. It turned out pretty nice. I like it. Up on top, it's still the same houses from before. We can run up there in case you had not seen that one. But this is where that uh, bug come into play. Because when I first set this up, this plot here I forced to level 3. So I could go ahead and fit two people in here to Abernathy's. But the problem was, I think... And it didn't happen on, uh, I did it at Nord, Nordhagen Beach with one of the plots too. And I didn't have this problem with it. Well, actually I did on one of them, but I had to destroy the plot and reset it. So the one down there operating the memory lounger is now living here. And we have to let that level normally because what was happening when I forced the level... Uh, you see where it says beds. It was always showing that there weren't enough beds even though everybody was assigned. So be careful when you're forcing a plot to level. I probably won't do that anymore because it ended up being a pain in the ass because then you got to figure out which plot was causing the issue. And if you moved on to something else and before you notice it, it's really a pain in the butt to find. So, uh, but anyway, that bug, when you force a plot to level, will uh, show you always short beds, even though every settler is assigned. So, I put, I, I just put the plot back down and assigned somebody else to it, and it fixed the problem. Okay, the problematic Brahmin. You see where he is. That's the pal's Brahmin. And for some reason, this Brahmin decides, decided to park himself in here. And you can't target him in workshop mode or nothing. I can't even delete him. 
Well, I might be able to delete them. I haven't tried console uh, mark for delete, but anyway, this Brahmin, Brahmin parks itself right here in this building. So all you Sim Settlements 2 people, if any of y'all watching, if y'all can figure out a way to fix that, I know it's something very minor compared to all the other bugs, but that's just something that just is very annoying. There should be no reason why that Brahmin's in here. <laughs> And of course, here's the lower power station. I think it's level 3, finally, too. Pumping out a lot of power. I've got my uh, guards, my settlement guards, all in Minutemen outfits. That's a pretty cool tower. I think that was well done. I think it's level 3 now, too. Those look like spy glasses. Searchlight's working. This is where I ended up putting the Abernathy's. I set up a, an apartment building over here. So when it grows, I'll have room for some more settlers. I don't know how many I'm going to put over here. Maybe 30 at the most. But the uh, gal that's running the artillery, this is her place. I thought it was kind of fitting considering you know, all those tires and stuff over there. That's maxed out level three. They're hard at work, which is nice to see. I don't know what we're gonna do. Pretty cool. I hope you're here to help. Oh, Got themselves a little break area right here. This is really cool. This one turned out. The very top there. You can harvest some things. That looks like Nern root. Never noticed that before. So we come around over here, that kid, I got, I had him with a junk bin, just gathering junk. That's his job. But when it advanced to level three, it had this wall here and this cabinet up top. And it looked real funny, so I just put some walls around it. Give him a little work check. Put a roof on it, so it didn't look so odd. Alright, so we don't have too much, too long to wait for dark, so uh, we'll go ahead and just, I've got the mod you could, where you can wait anywhere, <laughs> it's another mod, uh, let's go three hours.
you see what month and day they're in. So, holy smoke! They already gathered in here. See, that's probably why I'll, uh, Blake told me what you did for us, for Mary. I know it's not much, but any trading you want to do, I'll go easy on the price. Uh, let me but uh, I'll probably, that's why I kind of want to make this an entertainment area, but with that Brahm in there, huh. Here's the nighttime aerial tour. Oh, for crying out loud. Very rude, just standing there like that. Well, I don't even know where she is to talk to her. See what kind of problem that Brahmin causes, so maybe one of you Sim Settlement 2 gurus can fix that. So let's do this. Sometimes there is some annoying things that happen here. Fallout 4. <laughs> well, they're all gathering back up in here. I guess because of all that furniture and stuff in here. But I want to put a bar and all that stuff in here too. So Anyway, let's try this again. Improvements going on. Hold it up at night, which is pretty cool. I like doing the nighttime aerials. What I'm trying to utilize is all that space. In the past, I've tried, I would just build real tight around the main building. And then uh, forget about it. So, not this time. I want to use all, use up all that space for stuff. Good. Aberdeathy Farm with 18 settlers. Next time I add stuff, we'll take a look at all the building improvements that are going on right now. But anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, take care of each other. Uh, be safe out there in this crazy world. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll catch you next video.